begin with a magic ring. Chain three. This will count as a double crochet. And place 14 more double crochets into the magic ring for a total of 15 stitches. Pull the magic ring tight and then slip stitch into the top of the chain three. For round two, chain three. This will count as your first double crochet. Place another double crochet in the same stitch. In the next stitch, place two more double crochet. One and two. Continue this round by placing two double crochets in each stitch. You might want to count your stitches. At the end of the round, you should have a total of 30 double crochets. Slip stitch into the top of the chain three. Now for round three, there's no chaining in this round. Go straight into a half double crochet in the next stitch, then two double crochets, one, two, Two treble crochets, one, two, two double crochets, one half double crochet, and a slip stitch. You'll repeat this pattern four more times. One half double crochet, two double crochets, two treble crochets, two double crochets, a half double crochet, and a slip stitch. You can now see the five petals forming. For round four, go straight into a single crochet in the next stitch, then one half double crochet, two double crochets in the next four stitches, one, two, three, Four. One half double crochet, 
one single crochet and a slip stitch. You'll repeat this pattern four more times. In the final repeat, end on a single crochet. For this final repeat, you'll end on this single crochet. For round five, skip the next stitch and place a slip stitch into the top of round three. Skip the next stitch, one single crochet, two single crochets in the next eight stitches. and one single crochet. You'll repeat this four more times. Skip a stitch, slip stitch into the top of round three, skip the next stitch, one single crochet, two single crochets and the next eight stitches followed by one single crochet. After the final single crochet, slip stitch, chain six, and slip stitch in the next stitch.
This concludes one side of your flower. The second side is the same as the first, so pause the video, go back if you need to, and meet back here to finish the second side and complete your flower bag. Here we are finishing up round five of our second flower. After the final single crochet of round five, slip stitch, chain 50, and slip stitch in that next stitch. You're now done with both sides, so weave in all of your ends. Now it's time to seam the two sides together. Cut a piece of yarn about 36 inches long. With the wrong sides facing each other, you are going to start on the 10th stitch from the center. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Seaming through the back loops only. You'll count the 10 on the opposite side too to make sure they are all aligned. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Again, through the back loop only. You'll continue seaming through the back loops only all the way around until you get to the fifth petal. On the fifth petal, you'll end by seaming in the tenth stitch from the center. Finish up by weaving in all of your ends. After cutting off your yarn, you are all done. You can pull that long strap through the small loop and you are finished. If you find that your flower is a little bit wavy, a nice solution to that is to either wet block it or my favorite, steam iron. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and please like and subscribe. Thank you.